Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome to The Road Warrior. I've had a frustrating couple of months with a couple of my cars, ma mainly the, the, the Scion here. Um, it, it, you know, there have been some nagging stuff I needed to fix for a long time. I had my door lock on the driver's side, wouldn't work with the key fob anymore, so I had to replace that unit. $500. Yeah, 400 and some odd dollars for the part. Fine. You know, I put it off for long enough, and I finally, okay, I had to do it. I've had some on and off problems with my air conditioning. It's now working again. Told me I needed a compressor, but then all of a sudden it started working. And then sometimes it stops and I couldn't figure out. And then recently I'd been driving down the road, and I don't know, I may have talked about it a month or two ago because I did these from the Super Cooper. And I had this problem where when I was going down at highway speeds, it, like the transmission slipped. Something wasn't right. I couldn't figure it out. Finally took it to the dealer to get worked on because I needed to go on a trip, and it was the speed sensor. I don't even know what a speed sensor is. It has something to do with the, the electronic transmission and the traction control. And Well, Kevin, for $1,000, we can get you fixed up. And as I told them, I mean, I, I get it, man. This car is now eight, nine years old. $1,000 is one twentieth of what I paid for the car. One stupid little part. Grip, you know, what was, was it? Grind, ground my gears, grinded my gears. Fine. Then, a couple weeks after that, my wife and I go out for gas one night, get back in the car after pumping the gas, and it won't turn over. Click, 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 click. Like, what the heck? I, it was like literally the day after I got it back from the dealer. Click, 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 click. I didn't know what to do. Called a tow truck. We then pushed it out of the way of the gas punch, which, by the way, if you were talking last week, that's how I re-hurt my shoulder. Here's the kicker. It's going to be an hour till the tow truck, you know, the jump meet gets there. One time, and we'd been sitting there half an hour, I just turned over and it started right up. Canceled the tow truck, drove down the road. Didn't have any problems after that. So I took it in to get an oil change, and I said, check my battery, see how it's doing. I'm like, well, it's only pulling like 10.6 amps, and it should pull like 12 and a half, 13 amps. So I had to put in a new battery. Now, I don't know if you've bought a new battery lately. This, is the, this will now be the third battery. The original had one I put in the dealer three, four years ago, maybe close to five years ago, and, and now a new one. Got me a Sears diehard. I guess they're not Sears diehards anymore, but a diehard battery, which I don't know if I've ever had in a car. They were two hundred plus dollars. Holy cow! What's the technology that makes a battery worth two hundred dollars? Okay, an electric car I get. Silly car like this I don't get. And I'm just like, man, can't win for losing sometimes. Then of course, I'm like, well, while I'm at it, I've had one headlight that that works, but seems to be a little bit dim. So I'm like, well, they got the battery out. I'm going to replace all my headlights while I'm there. Put in all new bulbs, new high beams, new low beams. Great. Crank it up, turn it on. That night, all new bulbs, the same problem. So it's not a bulb problem. It's a something with the headlight, wire, amper. I don't even know what it could be. It's got a headlight. It works. But drives me crazy. I'm like, what did I do to deserve this? Very, very strange. Just one of those things, you know, it's just... I wish there was a mechanic you could just take these things to. I wish there was somebody anymore in our world you could just take these things to. There is no local guy with a garage where you can just pull in one day, man, I got a problem with, well, throw up the hood and let's look at it. Nah, that doesn't exist anymore. You can take it to the auto parts store and they'll help you to a point, but sometimes I think I know more than the kid at the auto parts store. I just don't want to get my hands dirty, but it's just some weird stuff. And, and that local shade tree mechanic, I realize the cars are now just rolling computers. And as soon as we have electric, it's going to get it's going to change with, with electric vehicles. But man, I just I miss that guy. I miss that guy who could fix everything. Mister Fix It in the neighborhood. Mister Fix It with the corner garage. Again, I'm yearning for the past. But if we had somebody like that, it would have made life a whole lot easier, and I wouldn't have to make an appointment and wait a week to get into the day. Oh my god, I'm rambling. I'm upset. Back next week, another road warrior. At least I'm traveling down the road right now, and everything seems to be working fine, except for that headlight. But it's daytime. Another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us, home to all the Road Warrior videos on Facebook, on YouTube. Always subscribe, always like. Lay me a comment down in the, in the comment section there. I don't get many comments. What's there to say? You're stupid. Yeah, no kidding. You're right. Yeah, no kidding. I'm rambling. Back next week, another Road Warrior. Thanks.